Hi, I'm Jason Gorber for ThatShelf.com and we're here to look at the FIO M15S, the replacement as it were, the upgrade for the original FIO M15. Big change. So I have been using the FIO M15 for several years now. Um, it's a beautiful portable player, has some incredible specifications. What does it say on the front? Um, an AQ4499EQ, AKM chip. That's what I'm just reading from the, uh, from the um, uh, wallpaper on, on the back. Um, this is, uh, I've done several videos on the channel before about this um, um, remarkable player. Um, basically what it allows you to do is to um, have a micro SD card and play back on a wide variety of uh, headphone options. Those options including normal 3.5 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter balanced, and 4.4 millimeter balanced um, all through here, driving all but the most ridiculously hard to drive um, headphones and earphones all in a portable player. Um, I did a previous video, which you're welcome to check out, where I sort of showed my journey in order to get to the M15 through other FIO or FIO products, um, uh, iPods, uh, different MP3 players, MP3 CD players, etc., till I settled on this and, and had really hoped this probably would be my sort of last uh, player that I would get. Now, we, we, you, you know when you actually deal with players like this that um, you're sort of locked into certain things. And this I knew I was going to be locked into Android 7. We're at Android 13 or 14 now um, in terms of on our mobile phones. In other words, it's using mobile technology, Android technology, which gives you advantages um, uh, as opposed to proprietary stuff, which other apps sort of suffer with. I can add apps like Spotify, like Tidal, etc. But it's a little bit laggy, it's a little bit flaky, especially for some of the um, applications. One in particular, which doesn't run particularly awesomely here, um, is the Neil Young Archives set. Now that has a lot to do with the programming on the Neil Young Archives. Um, application. It's not the best, uh, most robust uh, um, on any device, but on this one it's very clunky and you can't actually play it at the highest resolution, which is part of the fun of having a player like this is that you can actually hypothetically hear it at a higher resolution. When this came out, um, um, certainly did uh, its thing in a very uh, nice and robust way. Um, I had to buy for an extra hundred dollars this leather case, which is a bit of a schlep to take out, but the original so you can see so much dust that has come through here. You know, should have cleaned it, but it's, it shows that it's well loved. Big volume um, knob on the top, etc., and on the bottom, just one micro um, uh, SD slot. In this case, it was up to a terabyte um, and a micro um, uh, USB um, C. And then you uh, um, plug in for either using it um, as a DAC uh, with uh, some of your digital devices or for charging. There's another slot here where it actually says what the model is. It's obviously the same size as the micro SD. I would love if they actually had two cards. My understanding is that there's an, a fundamental issue with the hardware um, and um, the way Android works that it could only work really with one card. Um, and that is just part of the fun of uh, dealing with this kind of nonsense. Nonetheless, it's big. Um, uh, it's big enough to hold in your hand, but it's not so heavy and dense that uh, you don't want to take it around. We also looked at um, another video here, the M17, which is the upgrade for this. Their flagship of flagships. And the thing's a monster. It's incredible. But really, to schlep with that would be a little bit crazy. Um, it's portable in the sense that, you know, um, those old gaming rings, portable gaming rigs are portable. Sure, you can take it if you want, um, but really it's meant for listening at home and doing its trick. So this was um, my main uh, player for many, many years. And then I just uh, received this, um, uh, the M15S for uh, to look at, uh, thanks to our friends at FIO. FIO. Um, uh, this is basically this with the sa similar guts to the inside of the um, M17. In other words, all the stuff that I liked about the M17 that I would really hope that they would implement on this, they seem to have done so. So I wanna open it up and see what's inside and um, we'll sort of do this as an initial um, unboxing. And then um, after we are, um, after I've had a couple uh, weeks to actually uh, uh, play with the thing, I will come back and let you know what I actually think of it. But right from um, the outset, just in terms of specifications, I know it's substantially uh, more robust. It runs a higher version of Android, in this case, Android 10. Um, and because of that, um, 
it actually allows, uh, um, not, you know, not the, 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 uh, the, the, every single app that's um, ever going to be done, but most of the major um, audio apps are, are totally um, um, operational. The joy of unboxing when you try to be careful with the plastic, but you know what? We're just taking the whole plastic off because why not? And it slides out that way, and that was never going to come out in the plastic. So on the outside, you have this nice um, um, sort of colorful... Um, uh, showing off some of the iridescence of it. Uh, on the top we have the high res audio um, and the high res audio wireless because of um, its capabilities um, on the wireless front. The M15S there. Inside um, the box we have the unit itself. If I just pull this out you can see it already comes in the leather case. It's not something you need to purchase again. Side by side, it's a little bit bigger, the way that it operates. Um, it will be very similar, but it's very, very slightly bigger. In terms of thickness, it looks reasonably the same. Not so different, but just a little bit wider. The actual unit is just a little bit wider compared to the original. Um, we have in here an ES9038 Pro chip, um, and then it actually shows off um, the Qualcomm Snapdragon um, uh, chip on the inside. Um, it's kind of fun. We take off the sticker, and let's light this up and see how much power you actually get um, right out of the box. The startup immediately. I have a hold switch on on this one. So as it starts up, the screen, obviously, much bigger. Um, like, again, it, because it is wider, you actually have a bigger screen, which is great. As this boots up, it's going to ask for the language. Let's just make it in English, shall we? Somewhere there's English. There we go. And there we go. Immediately, I'm seeing it just navigating around is a little bit faster than what I'm used to here. You can see as I'm sort of uh, going around, there's a little bit more lag as, as we go here. It's slight, but it's definitely there. I'm going to open the, um, the, the music application here, and you can see just how much faster um, uh, this initially ran. Fully upgraded, let's go, and there's our music. So let's shut this one down and actually do a more fair test here, opening it up at the same time. So funny enough, the new one takes a little bit longer for us to get, but that may be just a simply a matter of um, the way that the music's been indexed, etc. I have all these other elements that are actually at play here. Let's try here, same swipe. Yep, the original M15 launches just a little bit quicker, which is very interesting, obviously. So all of my music uh, hasn't been put in because I haven't transferred the, the card over, but nonetheless, we have a bunch of um, uh, updates to do. The screen looks definitely sharper and clearer and brighter. Let's put these up at maximum brightness for both of them. And yeah, you can see substantially brighter on this side of, as I open the music folder. Let me go from there. So I gotta set the time. I have to do updates right out of the box. We have uh, what, 57% uh, battery life. The way that um, the buttons work, there's actually f here. So we have volume, the hold, and these elements here. On the, uh, on the original M15, they're all sort of on one side and the other side is pretty blank. On this side, we have it sort of split, so that the power and the uh, navigation buttons are on this side. But yeah, very interesting right from the outset. Screen is obviously very different. Let's go into settings. You can see all the pure modes, and I can click on about this device. And if I click on about this device, immediately here. So there's the FIO M15, the M15S, screen size, etc. It uh, tells me that it's uh, 5.49 inch uh, screen, the amount of RAM, the internal storage, etc., and what my screen resolution is currently at. You can see here that I'm running Android 7, as discussed, and this is Android 10, 
build one. Obviously, we're going to do some uh, updates on some of this stuff. But just that that change right there uh, should hypothetically allow us to run things right out of the box. This is what we're going to do with the Play Store. You can see I have a Play Store option here. There's a good example of how long things take to load on here. For some reason, the, the actual music application is taking a little bit longer on the new one um, rather than the, um, uh, 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 than the older one. But we'll see. We'll just play around and actually see, just in terms of raw functionality, what the speed difference is. Obviously, the most important thing is to worry about how the thing's going to sound. If you actually look at the device itself, very similar on the top, but they've removed this sort of gold... <coughs> Excuse me. They've removed this sort of gold color. It's replaced with a black color, but the exact same inputs here. We obviously don't have, unlike the M17, we have a, don't have a big giant um, quarter inch input. The little flap here that it gives you the analog volume control, or at least the rotary volume control. It's a little bit um, more rounded off on the M15. This is a little bit more um, square. I don't know which one I prefer, but nonetheless, it's nice to have this little uh, cover. Now, one of the things that the um, this did not have the, the M17 absolutely did have is a cooling rack as it were. And so let's just see what else we actually got inside the box. Because if we lift this up, we have, first of all, the key to allow me to take out that memory card. So I'm just going to keep this handy. We have some documentation in sort of a cardboard box and underneath here, we have this, and this is very interesting, is we have this piece, this element here, and we have this bottom element underneath here, along with a series of cables. And what this allows us to do, if I move this all aside, here's the cables that we're going to have for it, and I'll tuck it inside. And what this is going to allow us to do is actually to use it in a mode I am unlikely to ever use it, which is an even more robust desktop mode, just like the M17. Um, not quite the capabilities of the M17, but still much higher um, uh, power draw. And for that, you actually have a fan. You sort of tuck this in, I believe this is the way we do it, like so, right? Nice. And then the unit itself sort of sits on here and you plug it in and you actually charge it. On the top of this, we have different fan speeds and then you actually, um, you set it up, which might be upside down. That might be part of the problem. There we go. That you actually have it so that it actually goes and sits perfectly fine from there. And so, so what we actually have here is the ability to take the M15S and actually run it in a desktop-like mode. Sit it beside your computer, have it simply there and, uh, and do its trick. Um, it's, it's, it's something, it's an element that I'm not particularly uh, interested in using, um, but uh, it, it's, it's fantastic that it actually has that capability. I really am going to be using this primarily as a, as a um, portable player. Frankly, for most of my digital stuff, I'm either streaming it um, through my Oppo um, uh, right into my, um, uh, my, my Marantz, uh, preamp, or I'm listening to analog. It's, it's as simple as that. Inside here, we'll just look at sort of the raw documentation. Uh, nothing too exciting. Um, I mean, it's a nice quick start guide. And then we have the, how to actually put the thing together, which I sort of skipped ahead on, but, uh, you know, um, that's, that's what, who actually reads manuals? Um, uh, in this case, uh, it seems like nice and clear put together. Um, it looks like um, obviously multi-language, Korean, Chinese, etc., Japanese, um, all within one nicely printed uh, box. Inside here we have a series of cables. Should be the usual stuff. Yep, we have a USB-C to A adapter. And we have a C to A cable by itself, some silica gel, and a C to C cable. Um, all of that, uh, we need two cables because one, we need to drive the fan. That's the USB-C input on the bottom of the fan here, um, as it's located here, and it goes from there. 
So that is our first look. It's very initial. I'm just figuring all this stuff out myself. I look forward to um, working with it, but this is the M15S, the new model. Um, in terms of weight, I'm, it's very commensurate. Even though it's a little bit bigger, it doesn't feel so much heavier. It's a little bit heavier, of course, but um, it doesn't feel so, so substantially heavier. It's certainly beefy. It's certainly heavier than your phone, um, but there's so much power in here, and I'm really loving now, obviously it's going to kill my battery life, but I'm really loving the new screen. It looks much clearer, and just general responsiveness seems fine, even though, as I said, the, the, the actual music app seems to take a little bit longer to launch. We'll figure all that out. For ThatShelf.com, I'm Jason Gorber. Please let us know in the comments what you think of this player. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to address them. I'm going to be spending, as I said, some time actually digging down into this, uh, and we'll see uh, what the performance is and whether it's worth me actually um, uh, finalizing the upgrade and um, um, migrating my music uh, permanently from the M15 to the M15S. Um, subscribe, follow us on social media. We will see you next video. All the best. Take care.